how to change keyboard language in Mac. If you're using MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac or Mac Mini, the steps are going to be same. Now before changing keyboard language, you need to add keyboard language first. So how can you do that? For that you can go in system settings which you can find in dock or else go and select Apple logo and then select system settings. Now once you open system settings, you need to look for keyboard. So select keyboard and then in text input, in front of input sources, it will uh, showcase the language which you are using and in front of that again you will get a edit option. So select edit and you will get this window. Now I cannot switch between languages because I have only one keyboard language added over here. So to, sw uh, to change the language or to switch between languages, I need to add multiple keyboard languages over here. So let's say if you want to add another language, you need to select this plus icon and it will showcase all the available languages. So it has Arabic, it has Armenian, it has Assamese and much more options are over here. So let's say if you want to add any one particular language, you can search for that language, you can select that language and on the right hand side, you will be able to see the keyboard type for that. So you can choose whichever, uh, whichever keyboard type is, you know, easier or comfortable to you. And now in Chinese, you have two options. One is simplified and traditional. So if I go for traditional option, again, you get multiple keyboard type over here. So you can choose whichever option you want. So let's say if I want to add this particular keyboard language, after selecting the keyboard type and language, select add option. Now you can see we have successfully added another language over here. To add more, select again this plus icon and you can add much more options. So select the language then select the keyboard type which you want and then simply select add option. Let's add more, one more. So let's say if I want to select French, you can uh, select the keyboard type for French. Now uh, it is ABC, SRT option, Canadian, Canadian PC, French, you get French numerical. So it has multiple options. So you can, you know, look for uh, whichever option you want. So I'm going to keep this option only then select add. Now we have added three more options apart from US keyboard, right? So just select done option to save all these languages. And when you select done again, select edit option over here and you will be able to check out all the keyboard languages over here, which you have added. Now, in order to change language quickly, there are few steps which you can follow. First is on this particular page, look for show input menu in menu bar option and make sure you turn on this toggle because uh, if the toggle is on, you will be able to change the language directly from the menu bar. So you can see currently US language is selected. So I'm going to select this option. Currently US keyboard is selected. If I want to change it to uh, Chinese, I'm going to select this option. And now the keyboard is changed to Chinese. Uh, so make sure this show input menu bar option is on so that you can change language easily from menu bar. Select done option. Now, the second option you can choose is on this particular page on keyboard, uh, look for press globe key to and select this drop down and select change input source. So now when you select this option to change input source, you can look for, uh, you know, globe icon on your keyboard. And whenever you press globe icon, you will be able to change language on the screen itself. So each time you want to change language, you have to create, uh, you have to keep pressing the globe icon and you have to stop on the language which you want. So let's say if I want French or, you know, other language, I'm going to stop on that and then I can, you know, simply start typing over here. So now it's normally uh, just like English keyboard, but let me show you an example. So let's say if I want to change it to Chinese, you can see I can change the language. So now I have selected Chinese and if I type anything, you can see it is appearing in Chinese or else you can just go over here and change the language from here. Right. So this is how simple it is to, uh, you know, change keyboard language and you can switch between the languages using this menu bar shortcut or the globe icon shortcut, whichever is more comfortable to you. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. So I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.